na butani na me la bari suna na white nigerian kuma kuna kalang doctor damages live as sahara reporters new york city yes sir welcome to the show my name is dr damages we're coming to you from the greatest city in the world new york city yes 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 new york city is so great that we are suing eight companies that make and distribute prescription opioids. Eh? Oh yeah, we want $500 million. That's about half a billion dollars what? in damages to help us fight the opioid overdose epidemic. Hey. It killed over 1,100 people in one year. Hey. Now, you understand why some cities in America are now embracing uh, marijuana. <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to, because Woo! overdose of marijuana does not kill you. you. It won't kill you. It may make you to do something like this. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Do you think that the guy there said no to drug the next day? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No, no, the man is lucky that he lives in a, a state that is not Rocha Sokrocha state. Because, 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 if you were, uh, you know what, okay, listen to the record. I prefer Madden. How come my Madden is Zoshi? The Dalin will go. I know, Rochas has, Rochas has gone mad again. <laughs> in that video, he says in the video that he prefers a thief than those who smoke Yubo, uh -huh. weed, goof. Oh. He prefers thieves. He said he will send a thief to prison. And, and he's willing to start with himself. In that his new prison. <laughs> but but if you smoke Ibo or distribute Ibo, eh? he will send you to prison and demolish your house. Hey! Now, did you check with some APC national leaders? <laughs> because there are some of them that I had that um they take their usual thing before eh? before be, before no, they go to no. bed every night. Mm? They, he, he didn't check with APC leaders because if it's before he started talking about de demolition houses and <laughs> you know dealing with people who smoke Ibo. You know this roach has talks too much. He talks too much. Now. Talking about people who must be smoking something. <laughs> President Yoweri Museveni of Uganda uh -huh. must have been smoking something very strong. Uh -huh. In recent times, you know, in a speech in Uganda, Museveni declared his love for the US President Donald Trump. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not making it up. America is not one of the best presidents ever. You ah! worry! <laughs> now, Museveni said oh that America has one of the best presidents ever. Wow! I wonder what he would say about uh, Nigeria's president. Do you, what do you think he would say about Nigerian president? Funny. It's like ever uh, the best. In the, nah. Yeah, time, anyway, it? anyway, anyway. The point is that can Ugandans say the same thing about Museveni that they have the best president ever? No. I, I don't think so. I don't. Think so. Those who may disagree with Museveni will they be alive the next day for after disagreeing with that Museveni is not the best. Anyway, anyway, let's let's watch more of Museveni. Mr. Trump, I love Trump. <laughs> I love Trump because he tells Africans, frankly, the Africans need to solve their problems. They need to be strong. It is the fault of the Africans that they are weak. I know. <laughs> Museveni loves Trump because he tells Africans frankly. You know, if Ugandans tell Museveni frankly what they think about him, what will he do? Will he take it? <laughs> will he lose his mind if they tell him that it's his fault that Uganda is weak? Nonsense. Now, after over 30 years in power, these are the best children of Africa that the likes of Museveni have given us. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I like, I like their, they, they have vitality, their oh. life. You know, it's just that we're not providing them with what they need to develop no, their not. talents. You know, and Museven is talking nonsense, 30 something years in Uganda. And Uganda is still weak, and you're blaming uh, somebody else. Now, now, I think Africans should follow Liberia's example mm -hmm. and replace these old and tired computer illiterate men yes! with any young man who is willing to lead. Yes. 
Even if he's just a former football player who has no idea what governance is about. <laughs> you know what I mean? After all, a former reality TV star is making America great again. Oh. That, that is after, after a government shutdown, you know, but, but he's making America great again. Now, that was what Liberia did last week. Uh -huh. They swore in Judge Ware yeah. as president of Liberia. Ooh. Of course, of course, of course, yeah, of course, of course, as expected. All the usual suspects, African, West African usual suspects, they were there. Now, now, when I say usual suspect, I mean Olusegun Obasanjo. Ah, <laughs> anyway, oh, anyway, shit. all the usual suspects were there, with one big exception, Prophet T.B. Joshua. <laughs> you know, why? I'm troubled. I am troubled. Why has the great prophet kept low profile in recent times? Why? What is going on? Could it be because Apostle Suleiman has outperformed him in the magic of um, apostleship oh. that the great apostle has given up? Oh. Could that be the issue? Oh. You no, know, no, because if that is the issue, we can get two or three Nollywood actresses, you know, to go and embrace him and, and raise his, um, what are you thinking oh. about? Raise his profile. Oh, no. because, because, you know, you know, in this business that they are, you know, you know, low profile means no profile. Uh -huh. And no profile means no tight. <laughs> so it's important, you know. But that is not the issue with Prophet TB Joshua. I will tell you what the real issue is. You cannot hear this on uh, that little show that, okay, Bakasi does in the other <laughs> channel. <laughs> you, can, you can't hear this. You can't hear that. No, no, no. Here is the matter with Prophet TB Joshua. His townsman, who came to Lagos just like him after finishing primary school, is now on the Areka Kumfo of yeah. Yoloba Land. How? You know the guy I'm talking about. Big boy. And he is still just an ordinary prophet oh. in the synagogue of all nations. Oh. You know, that is a real disappointment. When they go to their village meeting in Lagos, more people will go to greet the Are Kakamfo of Yoruba oh. Land than those who will go to greet their prophet T.B. Joshua. Oh. That's the problem. Oh my God. I'm sure you all did not know this, that prophet T.B. Joshua and Ganyu Adams are from the same village in Ondo State. Eh? Oh yeah, they came to Lagos with the same level of education. Wow. Oh yeah, Ganyu Adams went into furniture business eh? while uh, Temitope Balogun Joshua went into fishery. Oh. No, no, what I mean fishery is fishers of men, fishers oh. of oh, men. Oh, oh, oh. Aha, he I started fishing for men, for men and for tights, you know. That, that's, that's, what, that's the difference, you know. But they've done well for themselves. You know, whichever way you look at them, they made something out of themselves. Oh. Now, let it be a lesson to all you young kids, you know, uh -huh. all you university graduates who say you are unemployed in Lagos. If TB Joshua can make it, and Ganyu Adams can make it, oh. you should be ashamed of yourself. Tell them, doctor, tell them. <laughs> uh, this is real talk, you know, I know we, we kid around, but this is real talk. And I'm talking about people from Bush countryside <laughs> 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 who outshined other people. Oh. President Olusegun Obasanjo has once again taken the spotlight from uh, Nigeria's president, Muhammadu Buhari. Oh. He stole the spotlight like pew, 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 pew. Uh, What did he do? Uh, okay. Former President Olusha Gorbasan just calls President Muhammadu Buhari law advises him not to seek re-election in 2019. Will the president dismount the house or this is another message that belongs to the recycle bin? Ah! I know, I know. Obasanjo, in a 13 page epistle to Nigerians, hey. told Buhari to pack it up. Oh no. Baba Yabo essentially said that Buhari has been a disappointment. Oh. He scored the president low in running the economy, hey. understanding the complexities of a country like Nigeria oh. and for nepotism. Ah. <laughs> this is Obasanjo and his mother. Eh? <laughs> now, we are in trouble because now he has added. PhD to his um, degree. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, so already, you know, he had a sharp mouth. Now with a PhD, we are finished. He will be issuing emails and letters anyhow. He did not even consider the fact that Buhari is still a sick man. And a letter like this could send Buhari back to the hospital for a new form of infection, the BTI, the bitter truth infections. You know, that could happen, but well, Bassinger didn't care. Now, but, but, but wait, 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 wait. Since 2007, when he was forced to leave office, following the failure of his, um, the third time campaign, 
Hasn't Obasanjo been responsible for all the Nigerian presidents that came after him? Yes! Is it not? Yes. He handpicked Yaradua, uh -huh. even though he knew that the man was sick. Oh! He chose Good Lord Jonathan, uh -huh. even though he knew the man was weak. Uh, again. Now when it comes to women and him. No, 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 no. He picked, he picked uh, Buhari himself. Uh -huh. In fact, he left his own party, picked Buhari. Now, even though he knew Buhari has limited cognitive, um, um, what is it called now? Limited cognitive skills oh. that is needed to manage a complex nation like Nigeria. Aye. This is Obasan Joseph. Eh? Oh, okay. This is Obasan Joseph. Now, he wants us to start a movement uh -huh. away from the two leading political parties. Will that man ever stop fooling around? Stop! Ah! Eh? He's the saint. He's the father of modern Nigeria. Meanwhile, he's involved in all the plots, all the bad, bad, bad things that are happening. Everything. Anyway, anyway, the day of Sanjo released his own 13-page fire and fury, uh -huh. Junked a whole Buhari into the trash can of history How? and endorsed Obi as a hey. That is her movement. You know, that kind of movement. The Nigerian police picked up Obi Okwesele and all her friends. Eh? Yeah. Are you serious? They took them to the police station. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. It happened. Movie. You know, you know, this is what I'm, I, I, I don't know about you, but I think Buhari is finally losing it. <laughs> it's not, it's He's not. losing it. You know, for them to go to that level, picking up people who are, who are saying that what they are doing is not right. You oh. know, I mean, that's, that's how you end up being like uh, Idi Amin or somebody, uh, you know, Abacha. Abacha or somebody, you know. Now, nah, I wasn't surprised that Obasan just struck when he did. No. Yep. Uh -huh. The moment Buhari came out and said this. I knew he was begging for someone to rescue him from this his mission impossible. impossible. Watch. I have gone through it over and over again. That's why I'm not in a hurry virtually to do anything. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. This is a president whose country is on fire. Hi. What he was saying there is the same thing that that madman, you know that madman, said when he saw somebody with a knife behind him. The madman said, I won't say anything to you until I look for my head and I don't say it. And I will talk to you. That's exactly what Buhari was saying when he said he's not in a hurry to do anything. His country was on fire. He said, I'm not in a hurry to do anything. Oh. You, know, you know, even before Bassan just struck, some Nigerian senators had already expressed their frustration with Buhari's government. Oh. In just one week, they went from being distinguished senators uh -huh. to disgusted senators. Oh. Watch one of them. We will continue to have this kind of problem. So many incompetent people are holding so many positions. Even today, I don't feel the presence of ministers. So many ministers, 50% of the ministers are not performing. Since the time the president has assumed office, he has not taken any decision to check this kind of... <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah? What? When did he discover that the ministers were incompetent? Uh, when? All of a sudden? Okay, look at another one. What is this? We are becoming a barbaric nation. We have no respect for life and property. And people are dying every day. And what the hell are we doing? The executive should speak today and explain to Nigeria what is going on in this country. We cannot continue. <laughs> that was another nice performance, you know, by another of our um, disgusted senators. <laughs> if only they had um, constitutional power uh -huh. to summon those ineffective ministers and um, the head of security agencies. <laughs> If only, if only, if only oh. they had the power to withhold um, funding until those ministers perform. Hi. If only they had the power to shut down the government oh. for non-performance. If only, ah, if only. If only. <laughs> Nonsense. Ah, you horrible. see, you see, Nigerian senators all of a sudden now realized that Buhari's ministers are incompetent. Uh -huh. When they were asked to screen these ministers, the candidate, when they were candidates, they all told them to take a bow. Oh. And now they are complaining. Nonsense. No, nonsense. Nonsense. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in what was high drama last week, yes. the first lady, Aisha Buhari, you know, you know her? Yes, yes, yes. Shared those videos critical of her husband's performance. Hey! On social media, she was no, just, she was just sharing it, sharing it, wanting more people to look at it. Ha! For doing so, we have named her a lifetime patron of the National Association of Nigerian Satirists. Oh! That woman is mischievous. Yes, she is. <laughs> She's mischievous. You know, trust me on that. She is not playing. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, 
It wasn't just the senators that were mad. Regular Nigerians were mad with Buhari. Look at this. How can you fight corruption and you are not transparent? You refuse to be accountable. There's no accountability in your administration. Start with yourself. Let me ask you, the 130 days you spent in Britain for medical treatment, how much did that cost the Nigerian people? The Nigerian taxpayer, how much did it cost them? You said Nigerian people don't need to know. How dare you say such a thing? You are arrogant. <laughs> he, 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 threw the, he threw the kitchen what? sink on Buhari. Everything. Boom. Poor Buhari. You know, oh. he thought he was coming to fight corruption. Oh. Sorry, Baba. In our own eyes, corruption and nepotism swallowed him. Oh. That was what happened. Gotcha. We finished, we fi they finished him. He, do you think he can be saved? No, it's over. He has six months, but he can't do magic. He can't do magic in six over. months. It's you know, over. there's no solution. So maybe, maybe solution is fire all his ministers. You know what I mean? All of them, wipe them out. Everybody has to. Get new, he had six months to prove himself. It's over. That I heard that he's responding to the passenger, saying to the passenger, okay, you are right, we are going to change. <laughs> My, my man, you don't have time. You said you are taking your time to think. And it's time to go. Six months. It's over. It's over. This is something we call Secret Self. Pictures! It's better than a premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Word! The picture you're looking at is the picture of Olushegun uh -huh. Matthew uh -huh. Okrika uh -huh. Obasanjo hey! PhD. Whoa! Look at, look at that picture. Look at, no, look at, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Hey. Isn't that wonderful? So, so he got his PhD from the National Open University. I don't know what university it is. <laughs> but he got his PhD. And the wonderful thing was that his former vice president, remember the guy, Atiku Abubakar, yes, yes, yes. took an advert in a newspaper to say, congratulations. Wow. In the advert, you know, he put things like, if you read the post, I say things like, icon. The father of the modern Nigerian nation. Wow. He was praising of Basenjo. Wow. I can tell you, this is what Basenjo was thinking when he saw that. He was thinking like, <laughs> you think I'm Trump? It doesn't matter how much you flatter me. When I say you are a thief, you My are still thief. a thief. Oh. No matter what you say. <laughs> doesn't matter how much posters, billboards, jingles you put on, on radio, on TV. You are still a thief. Go. <laughs> and and, and if, if he tries it now, he will write a letter to him, you know? You don't try Obasanjo anymore. He has a PhD now. He doesn't not, care. He doesn't care. You know, unlike um, the other one that has PhD that has never written anything. <laughs> anyway, anyway. The second picture, oh, this is a very important picture to me. This man brought himself out, a comrade, to run for governor of his state. Look at, look at him. He wow. came to stop the looters, oh. to help the poor. Aye. And Nigerians were making fun of him. Oh. That, that is when I know that Nigerians are not serious. We deserve everything. The kind of thing you are talking about, this man is out to help you. He's trying. He, he's, he's, look at him. Oh. You know? So if I come out to help you, this is how you are going to abuse me. Oh. You guys are not serious. You, what is happening to you is not going to leave you alone he's for a long stop. time. He's not going to stop. Because, because all of you have no milk of human kindness. Oh. You don't even know who is coming to help you. Oh, when you see a messiah, you, you follow the cooks. You, you follow it. Eh? Eh? That's how you elected someone like Rocha Sokrocha as governor. Oh, what a mistake. This man is willing to sacrifice and... Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Don't make me laugh. This is a serious business. <laughs> Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. Attorney General Abubakar Malami, you know him, uh, yeah. obtains court's order to stop National Assembly from investigating restatement of Abdul Rashid Maina. Hey. You know the guy, the guy that, yeah, 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 that, that yeah, took our pension money and ran away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he got a court order to stop, to stop the national. Can you imagine that? It's like saying stop the the senators in, in the U.S. from investigating the the Russian ah, connection in the election. In Nigeria, is, can you can you imagine that? Now my issue is this: I think Buhari should fire that attorney general. Huh? You know, you know, for, for for one reason only, not not for not for going to court, for thinking that the National Assembly could actually investigate something and something will come out of it. Oh, I mean, is he from is he from Chad? He like, is he oh. from Chad? Is he, don't, doesn't he know that National Assembly in Nigeria, they just sit down and talk and at the end, nothing happens. <laughs> Why was he panicking? Ah. 
He should be fired for, for, for not well, acting like a Nigerian. You know, for wasting our time and money going to court over nothing. You think we do court? <laughs> anyway, oh, oh, this, this is connected to the last one. Why we haven't disciplined anyone over my nurse recall? <laughs> This is, this is, the one that is saying this is the head of service. Oh. The head of service in Nigeria is saying why we have not. Now, now for, for those who do not understand, when she said we, she was talking about herself and the tapeworms in her stomach. Oh. She, she wasn't actually talking about Buhari's government because the government has moved on. <laughs> the government, they've, they've moved on. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't yeah. care. They don't, they're not looking back at what, what, my, what, 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 what happened? What, who is that? <laughs> And the woman is still saying, why we have not? Who cares? Oh, 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 oh. This, this is connected to what was the big story this week. My meeting with Buhari had nothing to do with Obasanjo's statement. <laughs> hey. Says uh, Balatinubu. You know Balatinubu? Ah, that snake. He went, ah, you called him a snake? <laughs> I don't know about that. Too. All I know is that he does, um, he does, uh -huh. so, <laughs> so he went to see Buhari. Uh -huh. And he's saying that his meeting with Buhari had nothing to do with uh, Obasanjo blasting Buhari. Okay. You see, you see, you see, that's what I told you. I told you, I told you. It was, the meeting was about the legalization of marijuana. <laughs> Which is one radical step that can save Buhari's administration. Yes. Imagine if he just declares that Ibo is free and is uh, legal in Nigeria. Uh -huh. You know, can you imagine how that would transform everything? Like after after all, <laughs> Ibo is better than uh, sniffing cocaine and, uh, <laughs> and codeine, you know, for those, you know, Oh I mean, people will come out here and mass and vote for him. He needs to do something big to recover from this. He's, he's, going, he's going down. <laughs> I mean, listen to Tinubu, if that's what he told you. You know what I mean? That's a good idea. <laughs> anyway, anyway this, this, one, this, one, this one is from Buhari, and, and we've touched on this, but we want to give him our response. Okay. Why I am not in a hurry to do anything? <laughs> President Mohammed Buhari. Sorry, Baba. You see, I say, Baba. Okay, no, no problem, Baba. No problem. No, no, no problem now. Nothing's poor. As long as you won't delay when it is time to return to Dara. Ah! You know, in, uh, on the morning of uh, May 29th. Oh. No problem. We know, no, no wahala. You know, we, we, we accept it. <laughs> but once the, the bell rings, you know what I mean? Baba. Uh, Baba. I mean, we don't. We, I mean, we can go back to the defense uh, room and defense. Uh, Building and stay so for some days, but but you need to leave go the, back to the <laughs> go back to the other room. But we need to you need to leave the, the main building. You know, you can take your time to. <laughs> anyway, oh, this is for you, my man. My man is not here today, but this I got one for you. Hmm? Yeah? Men make love with their wives and have sex with their girlfriends. Hey! Says Reno. A mockery. You know, you know, Reno. Oh, a reverend, reverend. Always talking pastor. Oh. No, no, no. This is a pastor. No, no, no. That is an expert talking. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unlike someone like you. This is an expert telling you. Now, now, uh, Pastor Reno, I, I have a question. You know, what do you call what men do with sex dogs? Ah, no, I mean, no. I mean, you've taken all the men, you know, what do you call? What do you do? Like, yeah. It's, can you, it's, I know you're an expert now. You can, I mean, write one of those your nuggets about that. <laughs> the nuggets we enjoy it can you <laughs> nonsense <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no Shaka. uniform. No, you won't come on time. Won't be part. Go. Thank you very much. Good observation. Go ahead. <laughs> she did do Shakara while reading the mails. Mm-hmm. As if their country better pass uh, oh, 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 This one read, it reads my mind. <laughs> this one read your mind. Uh-huh. Who do? sent you from the UAE? Yeah, Who little, sent what, you what, what back to sender? Ah. It, even Dara is better than Sierra Leone. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, keep, keep going, keep going. Our diamonds are bigger. Whoa! Do you have diamonds? Do you have them? That's oh, true, oh that's okay, true, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> Number two, mm. Dr. Damages, uh, you need to watch your high toe. Uh, you are tall like a Iroko tree. Uh, <laughs> even when you sit, now only you small. Tomato just use past you. Oh, my regards to Adiola of keeping it oh, real. Yeah. And that's your what area is, boy that is. always shouts. Ah! <laughs> you. You the other one. <laughs> this one is fake. <laughs> <laughs> this one is substitutes. <laughs> he said, don't worry, by the time I become Nigerian ambassador <gasps> to UAE, mm. I will build you one statue here. <laughs> and I will name it Dr. Iroko. <laughs> Stay blessed. Oh, my friend, my friend, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate wow. it. You know, you know this, is, this are the kind of people we like, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and you're right about Tomato just has Shakara too much. Ah, no, 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 Just one, one, one small correction. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to become Nigeria's ambassador to United Arab Emirates, mm-hmm. the first thing to do is to leave United Arab Emirates. <laughs> you can't be there and become the ambassador. Ah! You have to go home first, and then they send you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Ooh! That's how it works, you know? Anyway, next. Our second email is from Tosin. Tosin. Uh, Tosin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know and Tosin. he writes, mm. Hello, Dr. Damages. Yeah. I'm a regular viewer of your show. Oh, you. are you. doing a fantastic you job. See? You see? Thank you. I have been finding it hard to concentrate on your show lately ah. because of the guy constantly making noise in the background. Oh! Ah. It is very oh. annoying hey. and drowns your message. Hey. Good point. I hope you can do something about it to ensure your viewers continue enjoyment. Thank you. Oh. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I'm happy that this man is raising a very important issue. You know what I mean? Now, mm. now. Some some people hate it. Some people like it. Ah. It is part of the structure of the show. Mm. I think the problem is that the noisemaker is too close to the stage. Oh. We need to move him to Madison Square Garden. Oh. You know what I mean? So that, so that this noise will not be interfering with what we are saying. You know what I mean? so? No, no, but, but thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. Of and, course. And we Keep are watching. because what? You are. And you are because? We are. And before we, I go, let me remind you that I will be in London at the London hey. School of Economics oh. on February 10th. Hey. Come at the Student Union building. Come there hey. at 10, 11 to 4. We, let's deal with Nigeria. Oh. And also, if you can't come there, come to the Buckingham Palace. I think we are going there. Ah. Uh, yeah, we, we have an invitation. No, we, we hang out with Nigerians and Africans uh, in London. So so look out for wherever you see noise that, that we might be there. Anyway, that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Demis at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Dr. Demiges and on Instagram at Dr. Demiges. Here's my concern for today. Uh-huh. It's taken from page 419 uh-huh. of the book, This American Life Self. Mm. by Cock Van Gogh. Uh, and he says, we are what we pretend to be. Mm. So we must be careful about what we pretend to be. How? Message. Like too much wow. of pretending to be Message. younger crap. You know, you pretending to be Van Gogh. Uh, right? what? Uh, G- G- what is it? What's it? Picasso. Uh, what the- <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose you. you- So the Bible just, says, mm, speak it. And it shall happen. Yeah. I mean, I've been speaking it. Ah. <laughs> I've been speaking it. Well, you know? I'm speaking and on it, behalf it, of myself. It has eh? not happened. I don't know for you, you but know, it has for not me. Happened. So, for me. So, Tomato Joss, ah. what is the issue with you and your uniform? Is it that your husband is not happy with you um, dressing up that way? Exactly. Is, is, exactly. So, so, what are we going to do this about This thing it? doesn't come easy, oh. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Uh, it's he, a joke, it's a joke. He has, <laughs> he, he has given 10 of them to 10 women. Uh, and they all said they all said no. <laughs> they, 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 they Doctor! Kept, they, I mean, I mean he said ah. I should say it, you know. And they ah. kept they kept the ring. Hey, my man, do you want to show your face and you know for uh, women? Doctor, sorry. No, no. <laughs> he's, he's desperate, you know. He's, he's, you know. Anyway, so tomato just tell mm-hmm. me what is going on. What's going on? People, people want to know. I get these emails every day. Three people now are promising to pay for your uniform. What is going on? 
What's the problem? Here's my cash I gave app. You, I gave you a check. Blank my check. cash app is dollar sign Fatima Sisse. <laughs> so cash app me. And ah. next week. What is, what next is, week. Is, you will see wait, my wait, uniform. Wait, what is cash app? What dollar is sign I, I have no Fatima. F A T I M A. S E S A Y. Cash up or your cash up that money. Next wait, wait, wait. week. I ha- where am Next I? week. What's going on? I have you will no see idea. me in a uniform. You send huh? money to somebody without yes. ha. without Doctor. going through me. No, yes. Instantly. They send it again. To get your it. phone. Ah. And you can use, how do you use it. How do you use it? You cash out. You to go your to bank your account. bank account. Yeah. No, you just send it. But, but Nigerians can actually, if they know your account, you know, they can go through yeah. that way to go no, they and won't take money. Go. No, they, they can't, can't take, take money. You don't no. know. But they can't. No, no, Nigerians. No, 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 no. I'm trying to keep it PG. Ah! <laughs> Is she not from a shit country? <laughs> I don't understand. This this woman from a shit old country talking about Nigeria like that. Four one nine, go home. <laughs> um, special announcement. If you want to be a substitute nurse on our show, please exactly. please do a video thirty seconds because I think she's gone. Do that <laughs> for for her to talk about Nigeria. Thirty seconds video about yourself talking to Doctor Damages. Please send it to us. We will let our audience pick our new substitute nurse. Must be New York. Must be, must be, must be, must be, must be in New York area because because I had because we don't have money to, <laughs> to fly you. We don't have money to fly you in. We're serious, you know. Send us your video. Let's see. We need someone to compete with her. To want to just yes, sh- no her shakara is too much. No her shakara is too much. No we one. can actually put your money up, you know, if no you perform better one. than her. Uh-huh. All right. Until next week, we we'll see you guys. <laughs>